PD. Hi, kids. Is this the seismograph you're building? That's right. I'm almost finished. This seismograph is not very sensitive, but it does work. It measures horizontal motion. So you actually use a peanut can and an old brick? Yeah, sure. Let me start from the beginning. The seismograph measures the shaking of the Earth. To measure the shaking, we take advantage of Newton's first law. I think I remember. Isn't it also called inertia? I'm impressed. So what is inertia? It means that when an object is at rest, it stays at rest. And when an object is in motion, it remains in motion. That's right. This brick has a lot of inertia, so it's hard to get moving. When the Earth shakes, the base of the seismograph will also shake. But the brick, which is not tied to the base, will not. The pen over there records the vibration. Can we try it? Sure, let's make an earthquake by shaking the table. It really worked. Look at the waves. Did we do that? You sure did. There's a different kind of seismograph. It measures vertical motion. It looks really different. Because it has inertia, this magnet hanging on the spring tends to stand still when the table moves up and down. A magnet moving through a coil of wire produces electricity, which this meter records. Can we try this one, too? Sure. <laughs> All right. But here's a sensitive seismometer that hooked up to this computer. That graph looks a lot like the seismogram that Mr. Lau showed us. the table, the larger the signals. This is really cool. And look at how it vibrates up and down. Because it produces an electric signal, it is easy to amplify. Even a small vibration can be shown on the computer. Now, I can't loan you this device, but why don't you take my wooden seismograph back to the treehouse and see if you can record another tremor. I have a friend at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, who uses satellites to measure the motion of the Earth's crust. You might want to talk during your quest to become earthquake experts.